I will say this for another moment in American history. For many, 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 many years, decades, centuries, black folks said, you know, Thomas Jefferson had black kids. And white folks said, no, that couldn't be, not Thomas Jefferson. And then one of Jefferson, one of Sally Hemings' children looked so much like Thomas Jefferson that somebody riding onto the plantation, on uh, the Jeff Jefferson's Monticello plantation at night mistook this slave for Jefferson. And so then the story was, well, they were the nephews, that one of Jefferson's nephews had cavorted with the slaves, and that that's why there was this strong family resemblance. There was a wonderful man named um, Nate Huggins, who was a professor of African American studies when the department was founded at Harvard University. And he wrote, um, the Hemming story is symbolically true, even if it is not factually true. It gives black people a place in the founding of the nation. And that will always be true for the black community. Nate Huggins died before the genetic testing was developed that proved there is a certain uh, chromosomal abnormality that carries only on the male side. Those nephews were Jefferson's sister's children. So the Hemings descendants have this chromosomal abnormality, which means that they could not be descended from the nephews. They had to be descended from Jefferson. Today, they are, I mean, there's still some people who, do, who deny this and who are really against it, but what had been for a long time only oral history, only folk history, was eventually proven true. So I can't tell you the answer to the, the question that you put out there, but I think that it is easy for us to discount folk history until it's proven in the way that we like.